financial problems, elder law, criminal law, tax problems, business matters, divorce, personal injury, bankruptcy, your life, your reality. Life is complicated. There is the law and there is reality. Welcome to Law and Reality, sponsored by Thav Gross. Now here's your host, Ken Gross. Welcome to this segment of Law and Reality. Today's topic is what if I lose my available credit? Brian Small. Good morning, Ken. And to me, that is not a problem. To me, that is a solution. Jeff Flinden. Good morning, Ken. We'll come back to that, I promise you. Do you? Yes. Do you promise? I promise. Okay. Done with you. Pat <laughs> Samisco. Hi, guys. How are you? Remember my, co my cousin Vinny? I'm done with you. I'm yeah. to the next one. Yeah. I'm done with this guy. All right, Yahoo News. And this is something that we've been talking about before COVID. We talked about it after COVID hit as well. Wait, is that is it like Cowboy Yahoo? Like Yahoo? Or is it just Yahoo? I said I'd come back to you, but I haven't come back to you yet. So you left me I'm still on the I'm still on the done with you part. Okay. Banks, here's the here's the headline from Yahoo News. Banks are closing credit cards and slashing credit limits amid the pandemic survey finds. And it's one in four Americans with credit cards said they had an account involuntarily shut down from mid-May to mid-July. One in three said their credit limits were reduced. Is that because they weren't making payments or they just did it? They this is because it. the banks, think about all the news articles you've had. The focus that you've been seeing in the news for the most part is the banks are increasing their reserves for losses on business loans, but they're also doing the same thing. They've increased their loss reserves for consumer losses on credit card debt, and they're taking action to try and trim those losses. How do you trim the losses? If you're sitting on a Discover card, and you're Discover, and you also have a Capital One card, and a Chase card, and a Bank of America card, Discover sits there saying, let's cut his available credit, let them use the Capital One account and everyone else. Once one credit card company starts cutting the available credit, the other ones sit there saying, we don't want to get stuck holding the bag. We're going to cut it too. Oh, this yeah. is what happened during the recession, and it's going to happen again. And this article says it's happening faster. And it's ironic because during the same COVID crisis, we've, we've had actually pay down of over $100 billion of credit card debt versus it increasing. Because people are not because spending money. people aren't right. spending. They're not going to restaurants. They're not going out to eat. They're unemployed and they're collecting pandemic unemployment compensation, which happened to the, the first $600 per week ends the, the end ended of the, the uh, end of the end of July. Let, let me give you a quote from this article. It says, these are really big numbers. This is Matt Schultz, Chief Industry, Industry Analyst at Compare Cards. It, this, is a, this is a credit card analyst. It means that an awful lot of Americans had one of their financial security nets taken out from under them in one of the most difficult economic times in American history. CBS News reported it was 70 million accounts. Yeah. Well, the pullback by credit card issuers is occurring more frequently than in 2008 during the Great Recession. This is a big, and this is today. Tomorrow it's going to get worse. When the money starts drying up from the unemployment benefits, which we know it's going to, we don't know exactly at what rate until Congress and, and, and the bill is passed and so forth, uh, and then the next bill coming out after that because it's only going to be a temporary measure, the whole issue is they will trim more because as soon as that money is not in the system, people aren't going to have money to pay bills. Now, let's shift back to your opening comment. You said that's a good thing because 
let me guess what your point was. Your point is you shouldn't be living on your available credit. Look at Brian's face. Correct. Look at that face. You're really yeah. <laughs> 100% correct. You should not be living on credit. Cash is king. You should take the opportunity, if you can, no matter when, to get yourself out of debt and put yourself in a position where you have cash in bank, period. You see this face? We have a new name for him. We're going to call him Ideal Man because he has just set the ideal way to live. Cash in the bank, zero credit card debt. You are not living off your available credit. You're living off of your savings if you need to. We're going to work live, on the right? name. Yeah. Because yeah. we can't let him be ideal man because he'll take that to places you don't want him to go. Well, let me, <laughs> let, let me come back and say it this way, though. Let me come back and say this. Uh, I'm no deal man. Because your ideal way is right, but the vast majority of Americans say, no deal. That's not how it is. They are, what is one in four Americans can't come up with 300 bucks to fix a furnace? Right. They're living off their available credit. They have no savings. I think it was actually 40% of Americans can't come up with $400 for an emergency. There so, you go, ideal and then man. COVID, uh, the 600 stops August, first week in August? Yeah. All those those checks are stopping? Well, we're watching this show and it's already so in it August, stopped. so it's stopped. But the, the new bill, but it's, we've pre-recorded this show. When you're watching this show, the bill should already be out there as to what Congress did for the new benefit. But that's going to have a short range and run as well, and then the money's going to dry up. How much of the 600 is left? We'll know when we're watching well, the show. Well, because if you look at but what's going to happen to the hospitality, to the hospitality industry has been hammered, and it's going to continue to get hammered. And even when there's a vaccine, restaurants are closed at this point. They're not going to magically come back. Movie theaters are out of business. You know they're not magically going to come back. They can't find employees to work because they're getting this, because the, of the money. But, too much but money. it's not yeah, just that. It's restaurants a restaurants a sword, do yeah. not make a profit being open halfway. That's true. Or 25%. I, yeah. I can tell you the litmus test for the restaurant industry. When my when Bonnie says she will go to a restaurant again, because that's a long way off right now. And that what that says to me is that's a big part of the population. She may be a little bit on the outlier end, but it, it's a big problem. We're going to stay on this topic when we come back from the break, and we're going to drill down on what to do and what does this all mean. COVID-19 presents a fight for our personal and business financial survival. You have to make choices. Cash is critical. Do you tap your retirement, home equity line, or run up the credit cards? You need the right plan to avoid being wiped out, and you need it now. You can't rely on the government or banks. Call us. We're the experts in financial crisis. We are here for you and your business in the Great Recession, and we're here for you now. We'll create a plan and get through this together. Thavgross will solve your problem. Tax problems are major problems. Don't let the IRS levy your wages and seize your assets. There is a solution. We're Thav Gross. Our firm will solve your problem. If you're behind on your taxes and owe money to the IRS, call Thav Gross. We've been solving tax problems for 32 years. We stop wage levies, resolve unfiled returns, and obtain the best possible settlements. Call Thav Gross today, 888-235-HELP. If you're retired and in a financial crisis, there is a way out. It pains me when I see a retired couple exhaust their savings by paying credit card bills and for a home hopelessly underwater. Fav Gross specializes in helping retired people in financial crisis. You just can't keep paying until you're broke. You need to address the problem now. 888-235-HELP. That's 888-235-HELP. We're Thav Gross. Our firm will solve your problem. I love you too. Bye-bye. That was Jerry. Emma just said her first word. Oh. Jerry says hello and they'll be over soon. Who's Jerry? Is he a friend of yours? No. This Jerry. Our Jerry. And this is his wife and their little girl. You can't work. You have to deal with pain and stress. 
Worse yet, our system for applying for disability benefits seeks to deny you the benefits you're entitled. Jeff Kirshner is an expert in obtaining disability and workers' compensation benefits for his clients. You need to call Jeff before you apply or after you're denied to get the benefits you deserve. 888-235-HELP. 888-235-HELP. Carrying too much debt? Resolve your debt. Call Thav Gross. You don't need to be broke and you don't need to hit rock bottom. If you have income and you're struggling with debt, dump it. Think about the next 10 or 20 years. If you do what the banks tell you, you'll have nothing to retire with. There is a solution. Don't waste your future. Call Fav Gross. We're experts at eliminating credit card debt. 888-235-HELP. That's 888-235-HELP. Is the debt piling up? Struggling to get by? It's all about preserving future income. Bankruptcy is one option. When it's right, it's the least costly, most effective way to save your home, eliminate a second mortgage, and wipe out credit card debt. But you need to address the problem now. We help people with bankruptcy. Call the experts. Worth Thav Gross. Our firm will solve your problem. 888-235-HELP. That's 888-235-HELP. All right, we're back. All right, so let me kind of organize this a little bit because we, we, we get into this discussion. If you're living on your available credit, which most Americans are, you don't have cash in the bank, and your income is in a real questionable state right now with COVID, what do you do? You now know... Let's say you've got $75,000 of credit card debt, but you still have another $50,000 of available credit. You're listening to the show, you're watching the news, and you're hearing that any day now, they can send you a letter and let you know that your available credit has been trimmed. Once it's taken away, you can't call them up and say, please give me back my available credit, I need it. Well, I can tell you something. In 2009, when the economy was collapsing, I saw the same thing happening, and we all saw the same thing happening. Absolutely. That's when I took every penny on my home equity line of credit that I and had, took it out. and I took it out, and I put it in the bank. Before the values of the property went yeah, down. I never touched it, but I, was, I had a comfort factor that said, I have access to money, and yes, it cost me a little bit of interest for the, while the economy was collapsed, but on the flip side, I had a safety net that I didn't. Guess what? I, I went to pull money out of my home equity loan to buy a, a condo, so they, and they yanked it. They stopped my. So I had to get it all reestablished. So you're talking about that on the home equity line. Also, I remember in 2009 and 10. First of all, when they trim your available credit on credit cards, <clears> it's not always waiting for the letter. You go to use the card, they haven't called you, they haven't notified you online. And you go to use the card and it gets declined when you know there's $20,000 available credit. And then you call them and they say, oh, there's a, there's a letter going out to you in the mail. We value your services and everything else, but they can, we have trimmed your available credit. So that can happen at any time. Now, according to Yahoo, the parties that are getting their lines cut the fastest are the higher income earners of over 100 families over $100,000. Really? But think about that. How many families are earning $100,000, they still don't have any cash in the bank, they're living off their available credit, and if that available credit is taken away, what are they going to do for cash? They're going to rack it up working? so fast. It's a big problem. Yeah. So, the question is, what do you do about this? Now, let me just throw out a couple of things. I don't think a protest is going to help. No. no I'm pretty sure not. No. I don't think a credit boycott of credit cards no is going to get organized in no, order to accomplish no. it. So you can't stop the bank from doing what they're going to do. You can't. You don't have any control. You've got to come up with a strategy. So let's talk strategies. Now, what's the goal? I say the goal is if the credit card available credit is your security net, which ideal man says it shouldn't be, and I agree with him, <laughs> but for many people it is. How do you preserve your security net? Well, you've got short-term, mid-term, and long-term uh, 
issues that you're, you're facing for each one of those for that question. Short term, you got to make sure there's food on the table and a roof over your head, which means you should do anything and everything uh, with regard to those credit cards that you have to do. That means that you go take cash advances, that you run up your At credit 29% card. At 29% interest? If it means that you do that so that you have a roof over your head and food on your table, we'll figure out what the, uh, the result of that later and we'll find a solution for it. But you... It is hindsight says, gosh, I wish I had while you're living in a tent in your front lawn. It's, it's, it's not a comfortable situation to be in. What about my credit score? Again, I'm going to tell you that it doesn't matter. Your credit score doesn't matter. Owing the banks doesn't matter. Feeding your family is what matters. You guys That's think the number it's going to get to that point? You yes. Really, you really think? Yes, I yeah. absolutely when, do. When's it going to start soon hitting? as the unemployment benefits dry up. Because That's when that dries up, my prediction? post-election yeah if there's a post-election is one unless you have one unless it's a democratic administration and control of the house and senate other than that if the republicans versus the democrats have the ability to stop a bill from passing you're going to have a clamp down on unemployment benefits but you're not going to have a decrease in the unemployment the hospitality industry is not going back to work quickly until we're post-vaccine and back up and running. And, and then it's it, going to take years for that industry to recover. So Think about it. It's going to be ugly. Restaurants, movie theaters, gyms, uh, anywhere you go to get a massage, it doesn't matter. They're all working hard. Where do you to go? Just Wait, where do you go to get the massage? <laughs> I'm just saying, all those businesses where there's people involved and ideal man, right. it's they're not going to exist. I want to play a game, and it's called we're going to play tap and stop. Tap and stop. Okay. Okay. Now let me set the scenario for you, and we're going to, and we'll come to the break. Here's the situation. I've got four situations that we have to look at. You've got available credit, and it's your only lifeline. You're not retired, you have savings in reserve, but you're looking at prolonged period of reduced income. Third scenario, you're not retired, you have savings, and you're not looking at a prolonged period of reduced income. Fourth one, you're retired, you have savings, and you really don't need the available credit. But you have credit card debt, maybe, maybe not, and you have available credit. Here's the situation. Two categories. You could have high credit card balances right now, or you could have low or no credit card balances. And the game that I want to play when we come back to, to, from the break is, do we tap the credit line, or do we just stop using the cards, or do we not tap the credit line? Because it depends on the circumstance. To, to put it a little bit in, let's start with the, the first one. You have available credit is your only lifeline. You have not one penny in savings. Tap it. Just tap the coin. What he said. Ideal man. Use it up. Everyone says tap it, regardless of whether you owe. Uh, regardless of circumstances. Stop. We're going to take a break. When we come mm -hmm. back, we're going to cover this. If you're retired and in a financial crisis, there is a way out. It pains me when I see a retired couple exhaust their savings by paying credit card bills and for a home hopelessly underwater. Favgro specializes in helping retired people in financial crisis. You just can't keep paying until you're broke. You need to address the problem now. 888-235-HELP. That's 888-235-HELP. We're Favgro. Our firm will solve your problem. Carrying too much debt? Resolve your debt. Call Fav Gross. You don't need to be broke, and you don't need to hit rock bottom. If you have income and you're struggling with debt, dump it. Think about the next 10 or 20 years. If you do what the banks tell you, you'll have nothing to retire with. There is a solution. Don't waste your future. Call Fav Gross. We're experts at eliminating credit card debt. 888-235-HELP. That's 888-235-HELP. Time for announcements. I want to remind our viewers to sign up for our monthly contest, free $100 Visa gift card, Lawn Reality hat, and copy of my book, Dump Your Debt. Just go to the website, lawnreality.com, pop your name in there, and you're registered. 
We have a webinar coming up. You can stay in your home, attend our webinar via the internet, ask questions, everything that you could do in an in-office seminar. The next seminar is Wednesday, September 16th, 630 to 8 o'clock p.m., Debt Relief, Your Path Forward. We're going to go to all the ways in which we address debt. The key is to preserve future income for you, for you, for you and your family so that you don't allow your past debts to use up your future income. We're going to talk about solutions using bankruptcy and solutions outside of bankruptcy. We'll have a special segment for small businesses facing debt and closure issues due to COVID. Attendees will get a free copy of my book, Dump Your Debt. Sign up at thavgross.com or lawandreality.com. Also remember, you can always come in for a free consultation. We're doing consultations via tele, teleconferencing, phone conferencing, and also in-office uh, consultations with social distancing rules apply. Feel free to take advantage of a free consult. They're not meet and greets. We analyze your problem thoroughly, figure out what the best solution for you is going forward. Call 888-235-HELP or go online at thavgross.com or lawandreality.com to sign up. Debt issues, tax issues, estate planning issues, business issues, elder law issues with Pat Samasco, disability issues with Jeff Kirshner, criminal, criminal law issues with Scott Weinberg. Sign up at lawandreality.com or call 888-235-HELP. Also, check out the website. We have free reports. Brand new report, Resolving Tax Problems by Jeff Linden and myself. How to Save Your Home from Foreclosure, Business Formation Loans and Grants for Small Businesses in Detroit, and The Retiree's Guide to Social Security from Pat Samasco. I want to thank our sponsors, Thav Gross, Samasco Law, Kirshner Law. Now back to the show. You're all set to retire. You have your home paid off, money in the bank, and sound investments. But if you're not careful, all the things that you work so hard for can disappear. At Samasco Financial, we'll help you prevent that. We go beyond ordinary asset management. We'll safeguard everything that you have by creating a plan made specifically for you. How much can you afford to lose? Nothing. Protect the people that you love and the things that you have. Call Samasco Financial today. Tax problems are major problems. Don't let the IRS levy your wages and seize your assets. There is a solution. We're Thav Gross. Our firm will solve your problem. If you're behind on your taxes and owe money to the IRS, call Fav Gross. We've been solving tax problems for 32 years. We stop wage levies, resolve unfiled returns, and obtain the best possible settlements. Call Fav Gross today, 888-235-HELP. COVID-19 presents a fight for our personal and business financial survival. You have to make choices. Cash is critical. Do you tap your retirement, home equity line, or run up the credit cards? You need the right plan to avoid being wiped out, and you need it now. You can't rely on the government or banks. Call us. We're the experts in financial crisis. We are here for you and your business in the Great Recession, and we're here for you now. We'll create a plan and get through this together. Thav Gross will solve your problem. Okay, we're yeah. back. Quiet. <laughs> Behave yourself. I'm through with him. I told you. Okay. You created Bye. a monster. <laughs> so we have the four scenarios, and we have high credit card balances and low. All right, now, first one. Available credit is your only lifeline. You have high credit card balances. What do you say? Tap it out. Tap it out. Okay. You have low credit card balances. Tap it out. Tap it. My credit card is, my credit score is going to go bad. Doesn't matter. Well, well, you can still make, make your minimum You've payment. You've got though. to feed your family. Gonna, Maybe you should make your minimum. You make your payment. minimum payments so that you can keep using the credit cards. Right, right, right. But Dude. once you've tapped them out, do you keep using? You keep making the payments. Not a chance. And then we got to settle them down the road. Settle them, file bankruptcy, okay, do something. Let's fit it. We'll, we'll come to that in a minute. Okay, you're not retired. You have savings in reserve, and you're looking at re long period of time of reduced income. Can I ask? High credit I, card balance. Where's my savings? Is my savings in IRAs and four hundred one k's, or is my savings just in a mutual fund sitting in the bank? Both. Okay, well, it depends, but generally the answer is still tap it out. You have high credit card balances. You want to tap? Tap it out. High? Tap. High? Tap. What about low credit card balances? You really don't owe any credit card debt. Doesn't matter. Tap it out. Because why? Because if you're going to use your savings for every dollar in your savings you had, when you take it out, you'll have a dollar less. If you take out and your credit and card debt... And as soon debt, as the savings is gone, you have no... 
money to feed yourself. Right. Remember the you disclaimer on the bottom, you're planning on paying your credit cards back yeah. unless there's a change in finance. But but <laughs> remember this. We'll you, decide that tomorrow. Right. So if you, tap if you, on both, tap on both. Yep. And the reason is, going. no wait, tap there's both. a reason. It makes sense. Give you us the reason. It. Tap. tap on both. Okay. Third one, you're not retired, you have savings, and you're not looking at prolonged period of reduced income. Don't touch it. Don't touch it. Don't touch it. You have high credit card balances. Don't touch it. You already owe them a hundred thousand. Just stop paying. I mean, just, just stop, stop pay. using them. Just Period. stop paying. Stop, stop using, using cards them. and stop paying on the cards. Maybe. Okay. What do you say? I agree. High credit. What about no low credit card balances? No, no tap. Don't, don't touch them. them. Okay. All right. You're retired. You have savings, and you really don't need the uh, the credit. Then stop. Using but you have the high credit, credit card balances. Stop using stop them. Using just them. stop. Okay. Low credit card balances. Don't no touch tap. it. Don't tap. Don't tap. Okay, it. so you so you're doing this out of necessity, is what you're saying, to feed your family. Right. Right. Okay. And All remember, right. remember back to the one the scenario where you were had the opportunity, you had savings in the bank, or you could tap your credit card. When you take your money out of the bank and you use a dollar, that removes a dollar. When you use a dollar on your credit card, you owe a dollar, but you don't necessarily have to pay back a dollar. Well, let's talk about that. We've Going through the process, we tapped out the credit cards. We now have no available credit. How do we get rid of the debt? Because they're coming after us. Well, you got three you choices. Got two minutes. Three choices. Pay the bill. Two. That's that's one. The second one is file a bankruptcy of some sort, whether it's a Chapter Seven or Chapter Thirteen, where the, that allows you to eliminate the debt or restructure it and pay what you can afford, or three do debt resolution, and negotiate a settlement for pennies on the dollar. Those are the opportunities that exist. But right now what you have to do is look at your family situation and recognize that it is important to protect yourself and your family. And regardless, Visa and MasterCard will still be in business next week if you don't pay them. I promise. Oh, yeah. Here's the scenario. What I had hoped that we would accomplish is to be able to take this discussion and discuss debt resolution from the standpoint of how we use it and how it works to eliminate the debt. But unfortunately, we're down to one minute, so we don't have time to cover it in the detail that it needs. I'm going to tell you that the concept of debt resolution is resolving the debt outside of bankruptcy. You need the income to make the minimum monthly payments coming in, and instead of giving that money every month to the credit card companies and still owing them the same amount of money, you use that money as the settlement fund to resolve the debt. We can also we utilize the savings that you didn't spend to use yes. to, to Do negotiate they ask a settlement. You for like bank statements to see what your bank account balance is? Yeah, not really, no. Not too much. And if they do, we don't give it to them. Unless the bank, if the bank <laughs> statements show zero, we give it to them. If they want information and you owe a bunch of taxes, we give them that information. We don't tell them good things, we tell them bad things. It's all, it's a strategy. It's, it, it's an it's art plan. in terms of how, of how you go about doing it. That's a wrap. We're going to go through debt resolution, bankruptcy, and how we get rid of the debt in a different show. The important thing to take off of this one is you've got to make sure you've got food available for feed to feed your family. Have a great week. We'll be back next week with One Reality.